Okay, so in this video, we'll be looking at uh, the bathroom fan um, and the uh, exhaust vent. So ideally, you want this connection to be airtight. Um, as well as this connection over here. This is uh, insulated, right? So you want the pipe to be insulated because when it comes out this way, uh, the R60 blowing will only come at two feet. Uh, so it will come to about here and uh, will not cover this portion. So that's why it's insulated. If it wasn't insulated, I've seen ice blocks that were as big as a small football uh, that blocked the exhaust. It's definitely not good. Um, the uh, other thing that I want to mention, typically the fan looks like this when you buy it. However, you ideally uh, want to cover all the small holes because the fan will push the hot air up. And if there's no plastic cover uh, or vapor barrier, then some heat uh, can escape. What you can do is cover the small holes uh, from the bathroom side uh, if you don't want to climb into the attic because um, if this is disconnected uh, here or here you're going to have warm moist air going into your attic and if you don't have proper ventilation or have a small attic and there's definitely a good chance mold will be created because there's not enough airflow coming through the attic to release the hot air out of your attic. And it will build up mold on your plywood and so that's definitely not good. You want the hose to be as straight as possible, just like um, dryer exhaust fan, right? All right, so I'll uh, end it right there. And definitely check my other videos on attic insulation step by step. And also some funny videos like when I go through a tough attic. And yeah, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. I will hopefully see you on the next video.